everyone, it's Laura from Laura's Handcrafted Treats and Treasures. Welcome to or back to my channel. I have a little something different here on my desk. I have a little kit from Carolyn's Musings. Carolyn reached out to me and I'm so grateful that she's given me the opportunity to show you this little recipe folio kit. Um, unfortunately, I filmed the intro with all the papers before they were cut last week before I had some other things happening and my footage is gone. I don't know. I got rid of it. I don't know. But that happens. Not the first time I've done that. So um, I'm going to just explain it to you and show you some of the stuff that you can get in the kit. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. All right. So this is the cover. And if you get the kit and you go to it, you're clearly going to see that this is the cover of your kit. I have already done all my scoring and prep work and everything that needs to be done. This is going to be the piece that lays on the inside. And you are going to see this again as your inside piece. This is going to be your closure. So this will go like this. This is going to be the inside piece of that. And then this will go over that. So if you go and look at the paper, hopefully this will kind of make sense to you. So I'm going to set that side aside for a minute. On the inside of this little folio, there's going to be a little pocket. And the pocket will hold um, recipe cards. And there'll be some blank ones, and then there'll be some ones that her subscriber sent into her so that um, she could she could do this. I think it's on this one. Yeah. Um, so here is the pocket. Now, there's two different options for the pocket. Okay, we have this one, and then we have one that I've already put together just to sort of see how this is going to look. So I'm going to show you how to put this one together, but this one is already assembled. Once this part of the book is done, then this is going to go on the inside. It's going to go this way, and then you're going to have your spots where your little recipe cards are. All right, so let's move that aside again. All right, also within the kit, move this aside there are gonna be three signatures. So in the three signatures, they're gonna be very distinctive because they will have different borders. They will have this green little border. There's a yellow one and then there's a brown one. All right, so these are your recipes. Now there are gonna be different covers. So this is the cover I'm using for these recipes. And just so you sort of know how this works or how I did it, was you bring your um, print through. So when mine prints, it prints like this. It's looking at me like this when, when it comes through my printer. Now to get the other side, I'm going to flip and I just went to the blank recipe card that's going to match the recipe cards that um, I'm gonna be using. I'm going to feed that back into my, she my machine, my eco tank, and it's going to come back at me. Then when I fold this, I'm going to have my recipe card inside. So to get this to be uniform the way I understood it to go was I, again, did another blank one. So I did a blank one on this side, and then it would come through me looking like this. I turned it over. I fed it back into my machine, and then I just did the first recipe that was there, the two little sides, so that I wasn't gonna end up with the same recipes, okay? And then that one's gonna go like this. And then this one I've already cut, but you can see how if you follow that formula, you have your different recipes on each side. I don't have one that's the same but you're, there's gonna be three, a set of three of these. So if you feed it through however your paper comes through, this is how it comes through for me. It might be different for you. This is how it comes through. I flip it, put it back in, and then grabbed the next set and ran that through. I hope that made sense. So here is what we end up with. 
And once you put them all together, when you put them together, um, and not this one, when you put them together correctly, you have, this one I used cardstock. So this is just 110, I think. I'll have to check that out. Um, so I ran this through. I got my first one. Then I ran my second one through. And got then again, and then got my two others. So when you lay these two, when you fold this one in, you have your recipe and your directions. When you come back over to the back, you have your recipe and your directions and everything lines up. And the third one, there was another little recipe in there that you'll see gate, um, came in this sort of this dark brown. This right here is more of like a, a mocha and this is more of a chocolate. And so I didn't, I didn't do the um, solid or the, what I wanna say, I did not do the blank ones. I didn't do the blank recipe on this one because I ran my cover, ran my recipe, then I ran my recipe, ran my recipe, ran my recipe, and then on the inside of this one, I did the blank one. So I only did it once. This will be in the middle. When I put my signatures in, I'm going to put them in as the yellow, where you're gonna have your blank recipe to the front and the back. The second recipe will be only in the middle. And the third little signature recipe book will be like the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these together. I just didn't wanna cut these out until I showed you sort of the process of how I print them. So I'm gonna get those cut out, but as before I go and do that, along with the kit, you're gonna have more little journal tags that have recipes. And then you have these awesome little scripture tags and these are gonna go throughout the journal as well. Another thing that came with the kit are these recipe tags. So you're getting more recipes. And then, I don't know what I did with them, but I had a bunch of recipes in here. I'll have to find them. Um, but I believe there were some more recipes besides these that went in there, or maybe it was these ones. No, it wasn't these ones because they, they were up higher. So I must have set them somewhere. I'll find them. Anyway, um, so there's going to be more little recipe cards and blank ones that are going to go in here as well. Once the book is together, a few more elements to the kit was we had some pockets. Okay, and we're going we're gonna to learn where these go once we start getting our books together. For instance, this one is going to mirror, go right here, and then you'll, okay, be able to put a card in there, okay? So that, and then we also have the matching pockets for this, and we're gonna find out where that goes, and so on and so forth. And then um, we had some side pockets. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this my signatures cut out and then when we come back we'll start doing the gluing okay doing the gluing Ooh, that rhymed yay okay so i have the last signature all ready to go i have inked everything i, I everything i have is inked um at the beginning i did not show you all the little ephemera pieces um now this i believe is a bookmark so i did um, do it on the other side so you can kind of book, you know, mark where you're, where you're at. Um, I may cut this down, but then I was thinking, oh, that might be fun just to fold and have both sides and then even laminate. So I'm still thinking about what I want to do with that. And then all these little cute, 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 I love this bow, little ephemera pieces also came with the kit super cute so I took some time and either punched I punched these out or I fussy cut them out and yeah these will be added somewhere in the little folio so we can get started because I have everything ready to go let me get those off to the side 
And I am going to bring in the main part of the kit, which is the front and the insert for the inside. Now, what I'm going to do, so they, there was some scoring that had to be done and you'll, you'll kind of see where you need to score um, to make these folds and different spots, some scoring here, you would score, you know, the opposite way to do your fold in. And then what I'm gonna do is right here at the bottom, when we do this and this folds up, it creates a little bit of bulk right here. And because I don't want that bulk and this is gonna be covered, what I'm gonna do is I'm very gently going to just notch out on the either side of the little bumpy. I'm just gonna notch this out so that when this folds up and then this is put in, we, we're not getting um, extra resistance there. So, and I may take a little bit more out of that. And I'm gonna do that on either side. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my gluing. I'm gonna glue everything up because like I said, this is gonna get folded up like this, but you're gonna have your insert that lays over the top. So I don't wanna create any more bulk in the middle of those seams than I have to. Okay, another thing I like to do, and this was in the first video, um, when I'm starting to put things together, for instance, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and ink in this area so that way if there's some white showing and then I put this on and I see those little bursts of white there, um, I'm gonna ink beforehand so that sort of um, hides that. It just hides it away. And I do this quite often on my projects. just in them corners. So when those are up, you're not going to you're not going to see that like little stark white spot. I'm going to do that one just a little bit more. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get these glued in. I'm using art glitter glue. So yes, I've had a lot going on, and when Carolyn reached out to me, I was um, I was like, I, yeah, I, I would like to give this a try, um, you know, give it a go, and I like her stuff, I like her channel, so I thought, yeah, that, that made me feel so good that she reached out to me, and I thought, yeah, I'd like to give this a try, but I had so much going on that I wasn't quite sure if I was going to be able to get it done, but this week is getting it done, getting it done. Okay, so I want to check something before I actually do this side. So I can do everything. It's going to be this I'm going to be conscious of before I completely glue that down. So I am going to go ahead and finish gluing all of these sides down. Okay, I have this all done and now I'm gonna go ahead and get my centerpiece. So by putting this in, I'm going to start with my spine and get that glued down, but I see that I'm going to be overlapping just a little bit here, which is fine, we're gonna trim that off, but I'm gonna go ahead and ink those edges a little far in so that way when I do trim it off, um, I've got coverage for any of the white that, that might be in there. Um, and we'll see, we'll see how that works. And I'm gonna do the same thing. There wasn't a whole lot on this side, but enough to where I, I wanna go ahead and ink that up. And I am just using um, Vintage Photo. So yeah, it can't hurt, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and then 
Using our glitter glue, um, I will tell you it when it's down, it's down. You're not going to get a whole lot of wiggle room. So if you're not quite confident that you can get that where you want it, you might want to use um, some Fabri-Tac. It looks like I'm a little long. I'm going to trim. I think I'm going to trim that bottom off just a little bit. It looks like I'm a little long on either side of that too. So I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little, a little bit of a trim. Just a smidgen. Just took a smidgen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and re-ink that. Where am I at here? And I think I might want to grab my Fabri-Tac or two-in-one, three-in-one, I think is the name of it. Yeah, because I'm seeing I don't have a whole lot of leeway. And I think I still want to take a little, a little bit more off. Another smidgen off the other side. Okay, let's check that out. Just want a little bit of overlap on it from the outside. All right, I think that's going to work. So let me go ahead and ink that side up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my Fabri-Tac. Okay. I struggled a little bit. I had to pull this back up. I ended up trimming a little bit more off of the edge so that I could get a nice little border around here. And then I see this end is going to be a little bit too long. And this one is laying nice for the border, as you can see, but this one is not. So I think before I glue anything else, I'm going to get my trimmer and I'm gonna take another little smidgen off of this end just to get it to lay nice. Now, the papers were probably fine. It was probably me who maybe did not cut correctly, so don't, don't be intimidated that you're gonna have the same struggle because um, it, it could have just been something I did wrong. All right, okay. So I, now I've cut a little bit too much. Boy, the struggles are real. No worries. I'm going to go ahead and ink this. And then I'm going to go ahead and give this a good ink as well. So you're not, you're not going to see it. It's just going to look like some more mocha under there. Yep. See, just. Just give it some good ink and it'll all, it'll all blend together. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and before I get now, get this down. Oh, and another thing that you weren't going to see, so I didn't even think about this. This is now going to go under here. So you really weren't going to see a whole lot of that outside edge anyway. So before I actually like glue all of this down, I'm going to go ahead and get my glue. I'm going to go ahead and glue the this piece in. Okay, so we're going to glue that right to the edge. Okay, and then I'm not gluing this down yet because this piece is going to go on the inside of that. This is going to get glued down, but this, well, maybe it's not. Yeah, so that'll get glued like that and that like that, and then it's all going to blend. So let's get this glued.
Okay. And before I press real hard, I'm just going to lift this up where I can see it. Okay, so we have that there. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and glue these down. And I don't feel the need to notch these. I think these will lay okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue them down. Okay, now we're gonna tuck this under here and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue. And I'm just gonna kind of fold it up like this and get it where I want it. I'm gonna have a little overlap, but no worries. I'm just gonna trim that off. And I'm gonna get that where I want it. And then I'm gonna really hold tight on this and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down first keep everything lined up yep, we're still good everything's folding good that way now I'm going to go ahead and glue under here Okay, everything's folding well. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this, but I'm gonna glue it this way, because if I leave it this way, I think I'm gonna get my, my extra over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this way. It'll all come together. Okay. All right. So then I'm gonna glue this down, but once it all comes together, then we'll have our fold over like this. So, yep, I'm just going to go ahead and trim this off. And like I said, I may have just cut my paper a little wrong, but it, there's no, it's no big deal because this is just going to come right off. And we're going to give it another little ink. And it's going to be just fine. I'm going to hide all of the, any, any little mistakes I might have made. And that happens in our crafting. We're going to make mistakes and you have to learn how to fix them, how to adjust them so you don't just throw your whole project away and call it, you know, done. You don't want to do that. You want to put all that work into it and then throw it away. Okay, so now I've got that. I have a little bit of white showing here, so I'm just going to ink that up right there. Ink that up on the other side. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get these two sides glued down. All 
right, so we have the construction of our folio done. Now, in the template, um, or in the kit, Carolyn gives us this template, also this piece that goes on the back here, so that you know right where to sew your signatures in. So this one is actually for binding, so you can put it right in here and line it up, and then you would put your holes right where she's got them here. So I'm gonna do that in a minute. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this inked up around the edges. And this is for a hidden spine binding. So you don't have to like poke it through here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna attach our um, um, signatures to this. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue it to here, okay? So we've got that inked up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get out my stuff to stitch my templates, to stitch my signatures. Now, since these are just, there's just three of them here, normally if I had a big book, I would bind these and make sure that my pages weren't moving, but I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble at all um, just finding the holes and where they go. So I'm just gonna follow that line straight down where that little, um, little dot is, and I'm just gonna go straight down from that, and I'm gonna just pun puncture a hole. And then I am holding on to the template itself so it doesn't move though, because I don't want that to shift. And I'm just gonna do the same thing and the same thing down here. And then I just use um, an all, a pokey tool, any pokey tool will do. And I don't put mine in very far because it's got this thicker edge. I don't want them that wide. I just try to stick with the tip of it. So I'm gonna get the other ones done. Okay, I have my thread to do my signatures. And I usually like to start with the back first. So the back one for me was gonna be the green one. And then I'm just gonna take my thread, embroidery floss. You can use um, dental floss whatever kind of thread you use to bind, one, two, three lengths, okay? I'm gonna snip that off. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna bring it through that first hole that I made. And I did not punch holes in these. I'm just gonna use the needle, so let's just see how this works. The paper's not very thick um, of what I'm using, so I'm gonna see if I can't just punch those through there. If not, I'll get my awl back out and punch it through, which I might have to do because when I come over on this side, I'm not gonna be able to see it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to punch them out before I get going. Didn't think of that. I think didn't think of that until after, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and just punch myself some holes in there so that I can see them from the other side. All right, let's try that again. So I'm gonna go and make sure your signatures are up right when you're getting ready to put them. Each time you put a signature, make sure it's not flipped the other way. So this is my green one. I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna go ahead and go through that outer hole. And I'm gonna sort of hold on to the thread in here. I'm gonna go down through the bottom. And this is always a fiddly part for me and it's not my favorite part, so I'm just gonna be honest, but I do do it. It's not my favorite part to do. And then I'm gonna go through there 
I'm going to come back up through the top, hit that hole to the end there. And so sometimes I struggle with it, but I keep going, just keep going. Another thing that is a little helpful too, so that you don't have to hold on to this little piece right here, is I grab a little clip and then if you clip that, then you don't have to fiddle with it quite so much. So I'm just going to go ahead and tightening, tight, tighten that back up again. Okay, so now another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this is on this side of the thread, on this side. And it was the other way, so I'm going to tack that back down. Okay, so I've gone through the middle, out, in, all the way up to the top, out, and then I'm going to come back in that very middle, and I'm going to find that center to the book, which I have, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the, the middle thread is on this side of the needle. So when I pull this up and through, I have a piece on this side and a piece on this side, and this is in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten those up. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to just tighten those up. And I kind of do like a little snap test and just try to hold that tight and then pull and I sort of tighten it up again and a little loose. I got that a little loose, so I'm just going to try to pull it a little bit more and that's much better. You don't want it too tight because you don't want it bowing. Um, but that's pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and give that a second knot. And then I may even give it a third knot. If you make your strings long enough, you can make a bow. I don't care for bows in the middle of them. I just soon snip them off. Okay. Soon snip my little strings off. So now I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to take my middle which I wanted it to be the brown one. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my thread and one, two, three. Now, if I was doing this with a big journal, everything would be clipped down. My pages would, my book wouldn't be able to move at all. So let me go ahead and get that going I think and this is probably why I don't care to do signatures because my I'm all thumbs my fingers don't like to work but I keep doing it just keep persevering um I, I like to make journals and that's part of it so I just don't give up so I'm going to go into the middle one on the strip that is going to be our hidden spine I'm going to go into that middle one and then to save myself some headache from trying to hold this I'm going to go ahead and clip it to the end, to the signature. And then I'm going to pull it tight, go through the middle one at the bottom, find, find my little holes here. Come on, where are you? And make sure you're grabbing them all. You're grabbing all the papers. Not going in between one of the papers and then back through. I've done that before too. I've taken many signatures apart and re redone, re have redid them. Um, because they weren't tight enough or I messed them up. But like I said, I, keep, I just keep going. I don't want to give up. I just don't want to give up on it. So I'm going to go back through that center. I'm going to make sure I'm on this side. This time I'm on this side. 
And then I'm gonna go back up through that middle in that middle signature. I can grab all them papers. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the opposite side and I am. And then I wanna tighten that up. Okay, I'm on either side. And then that's not too bad. Yep, pretty good. Okay, and I hope I was in shot most of that time because I was struggling. I'm probably all over the place here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that third one done, and then we're going to go up and we're going to glue our spine in. Okay, I have my three signatures onto my hidden spine. They're all ready to go. And so now we are gonna glue this. I'm gonna make sure my cover's right because it's gonna go like this. And I'm going to glue right here in the center of that signature spot, okay? Um, I am gonna use tacky glue because I want to get a little bit m m extra movement out of it. This does take a little bit longer to set up, but that's okay. I want a really good glue and I'm getting a really good glue right down the lines of those um, signature um, threads. I'm gonna get it real good on each side. And I'm not going sparingly right down the center. I wanna get that good. And then I'm gonna go ahead. This is my front. Make sure I got that secure. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in here. I'm gonna move it down just a little bit. I'm gonna make sure each side comes up and it does. And I'm gonna press, oh, let me get it back in there because I think I just lost it. And this is why the tacky glue or fix a glue, what is this? Fabrifix three in one, two in one, whatever the other one is called. And I'm going to really press that in there. I'm gonna go from the back side. I'm gonna go for the from the front and I'm gonna really, really tack it in there. Now I'm not gonna mess with it too much. At this point, I want that glue to dry. So I may even go in the center of each of these signatures and just press that down really, really well. Let's see, where's my center? Here's my center. Okay. And then you can go in between each of the signatures this way. Give them a real good press. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and then we're gonna come back and put in the pocket. So I did find all of the little cards. These were all little blank recipe cards that go in this little pocket. Um, and I do like this little pocket because there was two options. You could have done one or the other. I kind of like this one um, that's gonna set right here, but we're gonna put the other one together. Um, and at least you'll have an option and you'll know how to do that. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, this one was super simple. Uh, so there are some creases that you have to make. You have to make two of them so that you sort of form this little box, okay? This is what you want it to look like. And then this one is going to fit. I think I put mine on the outside. I think it goes on the inside. How did I do this one? But I put it, I put mine on the outside. I, I didn't think it made a difference. By the time you got it put down on your paper, it's not gonna, but isn't, it's not gonna make a difference. But isn't that just a cute little envelope? I was thinking even without the folio, I might make some of these little envelopes and then just add some of the recipe cards, the 
um, blank recipe cards. And won't, won't that make a great gift? Because you can make as many of these as you want, you know, to put in there. So I thought, oh, I might do that. And then maybe I would put some sort of a little um, magnet closure on there. I might use a little heavier weight paper. My computer or my printer doesn't like super, super heavyweight paper. So I sometimes avoid doing that. So all you're going to do is, let me see if I got to remember what I did here. Yeah, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to glue. Let's see. Oh, this is my top. You're going to glue this to the back side, and that's how I did it. And this is your sides. Yeah, let's just get on with it. I could sit here and show you all day long, but unless I actually do it, I'm not really doing you any good, am I? So let's just get on with it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I just, this is the way I interpreted it. So this is just the way I did it. I'm gonna go ahead and hold that tight. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna make sure before I glue that, that these sides are gonna come into it. So I just set it down, held it tight, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some glue on there. that down and then I'm going to go ahead and glue each side and what I did was um, you want to make sure you're matching these edges up right you don't want them to sink down inside like this you want to match them up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little glue I know this comes up to about here I'm going to put some glue on this side at the bottom and then I'm going to put glue on this side. Then I'm going to match them up making sure that I'm not crushing that in and so I'm going to take my bone folder as well, line that up and then I've got something to press against and make sure I've got my edges straight. And then I just turned it over and burnished that down real well. Okay, so then I had my little square. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. And then this gets a little bit more tricky because obviously we've covered up the other side, but it can still be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then I just turned it and did this. And again, I'm gonna make sure I'm making my square. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my bone folder in there. I have a thicker one, or you can find anything that might be that thickness. I'm gonna turn it over and then just give it a really good press on the inside. So when you're done with that, I'm gonna bring my book back in with the signatures because I think it's, it's all good to go now. And I'm gonna go ahead and this will go here. And then you can put like a little piece of Velcro and put this here, but I can't decide. I think I am gonna use this one because it is so different from the front. So all you're gonna do at that point, and I'm just gonna turn this so that I can sort of see it and get it close to me. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this. And now, now's the time you're gonna decide, do you want a um, magnet closure or do you want a little Velcro closure 
or another closure you could do, which might be an idea, you could put some um, baker's twine and then you could just tie it. Yeah, so you could put that, glue that underneath and then you can just tie that shut. So that's an option too. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the Velcro curl closure. And I'm gonna do that before I glue everything down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my Velcro here. Now with my Velcro, um, I'm just gonna turn this to me so I can kind of see where I'm at to hit the middle. Um, I do like to add a little bit of extra um, art glitter glue. It'll stick fine, but um, I just, the art glitter glue just is amazing and it sticks to everything. So I just know it's not gonna come up. So here's my center. I'm just gonna go down just a little bit and press that on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my second half And then I'm gonna stick that to the Velcro. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some art glitter glue on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and press that down. And then I'm gonna resist the temptation to open it up, to lift it. Yeah, I'm gonna resist that because it, it, my brain tells me, see if it's working, but it is working. So leave it alone. <laughs> All right. So then while that's still drying, I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. So I'm going to glue the whole back side. And get those edges really well. And then I'm going to find my center again. I'm just gonna sort of eyeball it. Set that in there. Okay. And I'm gonna give that a minute to glue down. And then go ahead and get that lifted. that pressed down in there real good okay so where are my little cards what did I do with them oh they're in here super cute all right so that's ready to go now we've got our signatures and I was thinking there's pockets that go on the back but if you wanted to do two of these, I think you absolutely can. I think there's room to fit a second little um, recipe box in there. See, you could fit that in there if you wanted to. I'm not going to, but you could do it. Um, and then what this would be fun to do too is you could use, you could have little photo ops, little pictures that you could put in there. So if you're baking with your grandchildren or children or grandma or, you know, aunt, whoever, uh, you can actually put some photos in there um, as a keepsake for someone. So you ab absolutely could put this in the back. So, um, but I believe the pockets are going to go there. So we're going to move on to pockets next. Okay, it's time for pockets and embellishments, but before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece on that I had forgotten about that goes on the inside. Now, here's another um, option. If you wanted to do a magnet, it would be a good time to do a magnet closure under here, and then you could do a magnet here, and then it could be covered up by this pocket. See, and then when it when it came together, it would snap down in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and do another um, Velcro closure. So let me get that on real quick.
Okay, and then before I decide whether I'm going to put that on or not, I don't know. It doesn't have to go on there, but it is a pocket that could go on the front, so it is an option. Um, so we're going to go inside here, and then there are pockets that actually line up and match up with um, the photo on the front. And if you just nestle it right inside the little edge here, um, then it'll match. So again, you probably nothing I have to tell you, but you're going to want to do just the three corners. And each pocket has one of these. Now, you don't have to put these on. You could just leave it um, the way it is. Um, but then you would not have, you would have no place for all of your, uh, the pretty little um, tags that we have to put inside. So we've got that one. Okay. Because, yeah, we want to put, we want to put these cute little tags inside. So I'm going to wait till that is completely dry. So when you go to the back side, you also have another one that matches this. So if you just sort of line them up, um, the pictures, you're going to have uh, a matching. If you pull the tag out, it's going to be matching, which is one of my favorite things to do is to match up my graphics. So that one's going to go probably about there. And I'm gonna go through and finish doing all of these. I'm gonna decide what kind of embellishments I want. I'm gonna put my Velcro closure on the front and then we're gonna call this project done. So let's see, I want this right about here. Does that look right to you guys? I'm looking at it backwards. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me get that in there. Another little pocket. Okay, here it is. It's all done. I first want to thank Carolyn for giving me the opportunity to show you all how to do this. And we're going to dig into this. So I'm not keeping it closed right now because I didn't um, wait long enough and it started to rip up my paper um, but in hindsight I'm thinking I really should have done a magnetic closure on here um, if worse comes to worse and this keeps pulling up I'm gonna run another sheet of the cover I'm gonna cut this out and recover it and then I'll do something different for the closure, even if I use binder, binder twine, uh, baker's twine to close it off. But I just, I, I got a little too anxious. So I put the holiday favorites on the front. I didn't do a whole lot of embellishing um, with all the extras, but trust me, these won't go to waste because I have other plans for them. Um, when I put this one in, I didn't realize that I put it in this, it was supposed to go the other way. But here we have our little um, recipe box. And see, it's going to be a little harder to get them out. So we have our little recipe box. And then I would suggest also with your Velcro, the, this is really, really strong Velcro, um, maybe getting something that's not quite as tight. But when you do, do go to pull it, maybe pull it up like this until it gets a little bit of wear and tear on it and doesn't stick quite so much. This one works just fine. Um, but I got, like I said, on the front one, I got a little too, a little too overzealous. Um, so then I decided to put a little um, embellishment on the front. I've put all my pockets in and added the tags. So then you can see you can write your um, own uh, recipe here. Then you flip through and you have your other recipes. You can write your own recipe here. Then the back pocket, here were some extra recipes that came in the kit. So those can go right there. Again, I have a tag, the pocket. And then in the middle of this one, you can do your recipe. I have um, the pocket on the back and another recipe card pocket. And then another um, scripture, Proverbs 27.7. And then again, you can write your recipe here and the ones that came with it. And then I have my pockets on the back and I did not put anything on the back, although I suppose you could throw a pocket. There was 
Um, this one is for the front. If I would have, if I would have put it, on, wanted to put it on the front, which I still, I think I've ruined that, but I'm going to fix it. Um, I could have put this on the front here and made it a pocket, which might be a good idea now that I've kind of ruined that a little bit. But anyway, it gives you an idea of what you can do. And I think it came out really nice. I'm really excited about it. I just got to get that fixed and then we'll be all set. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, again, Carolyn, thanks for giving me the opportunity. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Bye.